I, Bill, since you recorded the last the last um, board meeting, I think as long as we can record them via Zoom, mm -hmm. uh, that is sufficient for kind of minutes. And I just kind of I would just assume we just make a motion that those those are the minutes. I mean, they're they're recorded. What it was said was said. Yep. Stop, yeah. Stop it. You could maybe pull a, you could pull a bullet out. I'm like, if there's a date or something, and just send a one paragraph out. Yeah. Anybody? We could put the we could put the minutes actually on the YouTube doc down below. The the, the the one paragraph. Yeah, I think I think that that would be great. Any objections to that? I'm sure. We'll, okay, we'll do that on go four basis, Bill. We'll yeah, I got that. I just want to share something real fast. Okay. So that's that's our that's the page right there, and there are the minutes right there. See, can you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. So let me stop sharing. Yeah, if anybody has a link, maybe just send out the link to where that is. So everybody just that's on, that's on the call. So bill if you go to West Point Society Northern Data dot org, and it says, uh, I think it says something at the top. It says, uh, it says yeah. videos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ed, you want to get a quick uh, financial summary or update? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, for the year uh, 2022, uh, we had a net profit of $54.11. So we, did, we didn't make much money, but we didn't lose any. That's good. <laughs> uh, then going to the balance sheet, um, the amount of money that we have in our checking account, excluding a use upon, uh, is a little bit less than $14,000. Our net worth is uh, a little bit less than $5,700. Uh, and we've got $8,200 in the admissions reserve, uh, which is unprogrammed except uh, as it relates to amount. Uh, I, I could give more detailed um, answers if anybody had any questions. That that works for me. Anybody else? Okay, so we're good. We're good in terms of budget and what we have, and and uh, have uh, husbanded those funds well, and actually seen a little bit of increase year over year. Uh, jumping off admissions, we'll table because Ann couldn't make the call today. Um, I'll ping her an email to just send out a, a quick summary of what's going on. She has a CPRC, which we'll talk about in a moment, um, issue which relates to Founders Day. Uh, Bill, use upon? Uh, we have to talk about the uh, picnic. The parents got together in the 17th. I, I think it's the 17th or 16th of June, which is late. Um, just because we're doing this at Sam's house and he's graduating and that's the 16th or 17th that weekend of, excuse me, let me get the weekend. June, let me look 17th or 18th of which father's day is the 18th. So probably the 17th, 17th of uh, June is the picnic. All it's called all Academy picnic. Yeah. And, that, and that's for all, all the, um, uh, in I guess it would be incoming oh. cadets, new midshipmen, new lieutenants, ensigns are there. Lieutenants, that's recent grads. Okay. And just let, and, let us know kind of when you get a chance or when USPON has a chance. I know we've supported with kind of the um, the yard placards and stuff before and what we can do. It'll be the 17th. In, ter in terms of financial support and reaching yeah. out. In terms, of, in terms of any mechanics, Bill, I'll kind of leave you. It is as a break even, so there's not much to do on that. Uh, no further update on that. I should have scratched off the Army because we went over the Army Navy watch party last time, which went pretty well. And we actually made a little bit of money. Uh, I think it was. Uh, old business, nothing new business. Uh, doing the Founders Day planning, we have a couple. Ann gave us a heads up. There's a couple of cadets that are in town. Um Uh, we have uh, looks like two cadets in town, March fourth through the fifteenth. 
Um, so that would fit in the normal kind of Founders Day uh, setup. Uh, I guess the first question, I know we have new folks on the on the board. We'll talk about that in a moment. So we kind of need a, a captain of the event. Um, geez, Bill, are you going to be around? I, I Yeah, I think we can just do it. You want to do it at the pub, the um, Great Basin? I so liked then, last year's uh, event. I thought that went well. I mean, we could switch to a different location, board. What, what do you guys think? Doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Um, let, let me tell you the pros on it. One, it's got beer. Two, it's got a good, it's got good live streaming system, and it's a nice time of year. And it's about, it, I think the last time it ran forty two dollars a person with total cost with everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with doing that. Um, Pretty easy. Bill, Bill or Phil? I know Phil's new. He's going, huh? Yeah, get, get to show up. Um, I'm indifferent of who wants to cap it. I'm taking, I'll be out the 14th. So if you do it that date, I will not be in town. Um, but um, what should, are the dates again? The cadets are going to be here. Uh, hold on. The 4th through the 15th. 4th through the 15th. Of March. Right? Yes. So I heard the you know, 11th. I don't leave to the 17th. I take that back. I don't leave to the 17th. I heard 11 March was a date that was sort of floated out there, which is Saturday. We could do it 10 or 11. Yeah. March 11th, Saturday works fine with me. If we got Friday on the 10th and then 11th is uh, Saturday. I'll check with them after this meeting. I can just give them a call. Okay. I understand they have new management, though. There's yeah, a, well, they, yeah, because they closed the sale since the last time we were, we were there. There's there's another place that just opened on at Plumgate on Plum and Arlington called Voodoo Reno in the old Napa Sonoma space. And they have a side room there that's it's not huge. Um, I, I didn't count that. I've only been there once. I didn't count the seating. Um, it, it's. Um, and it, but it's all, if I recall, it's all like really long tables. Like there's two or three long tables in that space. Um, I so like, I don't know that, that's a possibility too. I like where we had it last year. It was a nice, convenient location. Yeah. A little difficult to find. Uh, it, the we'll make it easier to find there. Yeah. Larry, you know how to find it now. Yep. Yeah, the, the dress brings you to the back door. So, well, what, why don't we consider the uh, voodoo space, Mike, as, as backup if tanks sure. and barrels yeah. uh, can't do it? Um, Bill, you want to take lead on kind of that? Well, that? Mike and I can work on that together too. Let me just—I'll go to a call right away over to the okay. Great Basin and work on that when we're done here. Okay. All right, Bill and Mike. Uh, we're not going to do. I mean, I haven't ordered like. We're not going to do programs, no. all that stuff we used to do, right? We haven't done that for a while. So. No, no. Uh, we just we do it. We put it on the website. Yeah, we do have a speaking. If we have the CPRC cadets, flat, you know, put them into kind of the program agenda. I can dig up what we did last year, Bill, if you can't find it. Um, just kind of a sequence of events. Uh, yeah, we, we've got that still. Thought, thoughts for for speakers? Um, I can probably get Pete Monsoor to do it again if he's available. But, I wouldn't mind trying to get somebody from West Point and some high-end somebody also to zoom in from West Point. I, I don't I don't have any contact. Everybody I know is retired now, so. You're that old? I'm old enough, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> as I look at you as my older <laughs> brother. You catching up with me at 87? Uh, you got a you got a big lead, Larry. You got a big lead. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I they they'll they'll post their the the soup does a video for us anyways, right? No matter yeah, what. Yeah, we can play that. And then um I'm sort of connected in with us Colorado Springs people right now. I just got to know a lot of people. I went to their game and they're pretty connected into West Point. 
Well, why don't we just hold, if, if somebody has ideas on a speaker or somebody who could uh, fill in that role, we can just kind of hold that space. Uh, can Mike and I just work on this next week, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. What about, ben, what about Hodges? That would be good. Ben Hodges. I like Ben would be good. If he, if he could zoom. I mean, he's in Frankfurt, so I don't, the time difference might kick his ass a little bit, but. <clears throat> Where is he right now? He's in the East Coast. He's in Frankfurt, Germany. Oh, he's in Frankfurt. Ugh. He lives in Frankfurt. I, I didn't know um, that. But he could probably, I mean, if he's willing to do it, it would probably be late night for him. But he's he's big time the on morning. the news, particularly in Europe, but no less over here right now on Ukraine. Um, he's on TV almost every day over in Europe and probably close to every day here if you're yeah. watching the right. We could ask Votel, uh, Joe Votel maybe too. Um, you could. I don't. I don't know him. I know Joe with special ops. We've been stationed together a couple of times. Vince Brooks in Texas. He might do it via Zoom. I don't know Vince very well, but I know Joe. Joe was CENTCOM commander, you know, and yeah. he's soft commander. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you guys want you guys then want to just kind of reach out and see if one of them will uh, <laughs> chime in, and then we can, you know, fifteen twenty minutes ish. Yeah, we can uh, even do. Yeah, and then we yeah. Let me. I'll email Ben and okay. and Vince to see if either of them want to zoom in and and talk a little bit. Ben's a little bit more current affairs active, so it might be more interesting we, to get. We could point. we could put we could put Joe and Vince everybody on a Zoom talking up there. You get too complicated, I think, and long winded. We could put two of them up there. Easy, you guys. I stop. know it's easy. I know it's easy, but I just think it would. I just think it could drag on a little point. Yeah. Point. We'd have like several four star retired generals. That'd be cool. Um, I, I'm just saying you could do it. It'd be interesting. Yeah. Right. They probably wouldn't all do it. The only one would do it. Want, Bill, why don't you hit up somebody? You know, I'll go Joe and Tony. I know Joe and Tony. And um, Tim, why don't you hit up um, Mansoor as a see, and then we can. Kind of circle back and so available, you know, yeah. a few days and see what we got. So uh, one thing on the itinerary, we got the old itinerary. I think it's still posted on an old website, old page. But let's make sure we put the cadets. You t- go on, Tim, and then put the cadets on to see their parents and talk for a couple minutes and then go into the speakers. Yeah. Yeah, it worked, it worked, it worked pretty well. It worked very well. We don't want to put the cadets late because they got to go to bed. They got to study and go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we'll put an invitation out to all the cadets to come up. Remember, they're all up at once last time. We could all the cadets up and all the generals up. <laughs> <laughs> be careful, see, what, be careful more what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see a bunch of four star generals. Uh, be hysterical. Um, and, the, the, and then the last piece, the other stuff is kind of, you know, filling board slots in members. And, and I just did, I wasn't able to get out a draft. One of, one of the issues in, in, in Larry, pardon me if I'm kind of stepping over a little bit, is is the transition kind of for the secretary position. Um, and, you know, Larry can help move that over and not say not involve Larry, just somebody who can pick up kind of the, the grind that well, you need to do a little bit. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm getting in that position of not being around much longer. Only, only, you only get 10 or 15 more years, Larry. I'm sorry. <laughs> May 20. Um, so it, if you have interest in that, um, why don't you send it to me, kind of confident who wants to to kind of remain on that. I know John Schaefer indicated he may pick that up. He's out of Minden. I'm, you know, unfortunately, he wasn't available today. Um, Phil, if somebody wants to be president. I'm not married to this position. It's It's not hereditary. Somehow Mike managed to uh, put me Mike in. should be pre- Mike could be present. Why well, you could be what what after you're present, you're still like on the board, you're like Oh yeah. It seems to be that way. I don't think our bylaws that. specify anything about that stuff. So no, no. I think once you've done it, you can't do it again though. <laughs> so, so once you, you the board if you've been present. Once you shake that booger off your finger, Tim, you, you can't do it again. So. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Hey, Larry, I mean, Ed, didn't you say for the new um, uh, the treasurer is John Scott? Is it not John Scott? John, what's his name? The, new, the guy. Out. You had a recommendation for treasure. Treasure. 
Larry, Ed, excuse me. Um, I have no trouble doing it except I'm 83. You need two peoples on that signature card. Yeah. And uh, I, I need to have a good successor lined up uh, to take my place as treasurer. Uh, anyway, Bill's wife, Karen, uh, is very, very well qualified as an accountant. Uh, the only concern I have is if they should leave the area yeah. in three years. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't satisfy the objective of uh, prepping somebody uh, that can handle it indefinitely. Right. I, I, I have Karen would, what's next kind of guess falls over to you, Bill, or, or Phil wants to do it. Phil's now, saying, not, let me answer another th or make another point. Uh, the person, uh, uh, that takes over treasurer has got to understand general ledger accounting. Uh, if they don't understand general ledger accounting, uh, they won't be able to handle the job very well. Uh, it's got to be somebody that's young, younger than 83, significantly <laughs> younger, and somebody that will be in the area indefinitely. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that last point, Ed, but uh, as long as they're going to do it for a few years, I, I would I would say that that's the all the other criteria are well met. Yeah. The well, last one, you, you, you are there to you're not. Yeah, I don't have any trouble taking care of it, except uh, if I were to fall over dead. Uh, I've got to have somebody that can step in uh, and that is prepped to step in. Um, I'll leave it up to anybody who's on the phone now. I'll reach out to to John uh, about the secretary job, Larry, and if that's the case, kind of then connect him with you. Unless you know, Phil, I know you've been a little quiet. If you can let me know what you would like to pick up, um, what's, I, I don't mind helping Larry I, being like co-secretaries for a while. That would be a good thing for me. Larry and I could both be secretaries on this. We're, we've been working back and forth, and especially since we can just use a recording in one paragraph, of the board meeting. And I think that's good. That's yeah, going to save a lot of time. Plus, if you notice, it's all it, it, when we speak, it sort of assigns us it it, it text. It puts down on paper. What do you call it? It uh, transcribes. Text, yeah, it transcribes it. Yeah. The, um, the one of the big things that, you know, obviously. Larry did for years was track the DSA issues and our, our submissions. That's that's a, a pretty good chunk. So yeah, I can learn to do that. Yeah. So I mean there, there can be a, a little bit of a natural, a natural break. We can go with, you know, co-secretaries and other stuff and somebody who has primary charge of DSA issues and then the other things that we do. Yeah. Larry knows DSA, so he could teach me that. We could work together. Yeah. I'm pretty good about getting on the website too, their website for reporting. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll circulate an email about positions in that are there because there are other kind of captains of the of events and stuff um, that sad. if people can pick them up would be okay. I, yeah, I just... would, would be great to do. Um, and then we Fill, fill in those and, and from Founders Day is enough that we can kind of launch that on those change because now we're about a month out from that. Um, Bill, I don't, can you send out a, once once we confirm the date, send out a save the date on Founders Day once we can confirm the location? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the list of everybody. I've got two sets of lists, one from West Point, then we have an internal list. Okay. So one, if we can confirm, you know, uh taps and tanks or voodoo whatever the case may be yeah. uh hopefully the next you know couple of days and then send that by, out by wednesday it's a target by wednesday okay. unfortunately i'm still doing professional ski patrol which i wish i wasn't and i'm doing it part-time during the weekend so it, it kills me though especially at my age now in the weather well i, I think mike or phil feels a little laid up and for those of you who don't know um He's uh, healing himself from his travel and ski exploits. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm sure he's available to uh, pitch in. 
I, I can definitely help out with the Founders Day if uh, Mike and yeah. Bill need some help. The three of us, class of 80 Founders Day. Uh, there you <laughs> go. There you go. You know, you can label it. Not even have to pay for anything. Yeah. <laughs> necessary. Sounds dangerous. Uh, you, you have naming rights. Do we do we have a, a standard list of external guests we invite? Yeah, we, we, are, we have, we have a small a list. Out. We invite like uh, someone from the senators, both senators' office, the congressman's office, right? And there's a few other people who lead, like um, some of the or societies and organizations are invited. But we have that list of yeah, we have those people. Okay, because I would guess that has to go out pretty quick if you want participation, since we're yeah less than a month out right now from the 11th. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it takes care of the board. Steve, not much from the other academies. I mean, it's kind of the same old, same old. Yeah, I wish I had more input for you. Uh, I still got to get a hold of uh, Joe Holland. And I think he'd be good on the board. But again, he's pretty busy. Sorry about that. I mean, we have kind of a Founders Day. And, and maybe Phil can ask you to, well, when you're looking at the other stuff, is it'd be nice just to kind of have a happy hour with all the academy grads. Oh, good idea. So if you kind of do it, we'll blast out to our list. And then, uh, you know, we're not going to guarantee any, necessarily guarantee any minimums. The, the place at Ranchera is a good place. Uh, there are places downtown. Uh, a lot of places have opened up. If you want to think about a, a date and, and just something that uh, uh, we can get people together and we can, we can budget, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars for either appetizers or something like that location and just see who shows up yeah not not a bad idea yeah that work for you phil should be like stay here that might be a good voodoo thing with their space yeah it's an option anyways yeah i think that you're right Mike. they've got a, they've got a kitchen there and all that stuff if we want to do some catering yeah there's other shops around there people want to mill around you know uh, mill around as, as well. So and it's an easy location to find. Location to find. Um, that's all the comments I have. Anybody else uh, issues or, or things we need to cover? Uh, one thing I wanted to throw in uh, is that uh, every year I have got to make a filing or the uh, society has to make a filing with the IRS. Uh, I distributed uh, copies of the filing uh, to almost all of you, except uh, not Phil. Uh, so so uh, we always make our filing. I discovered last night I'm also a member of the Harvard Club, and uh, they did not make their filing for over three years, and they have lost their standing with the IRS. In the fourth year, you lose it if you don't do that. Uh, but... Uh, uh, we have made our filing and uh, we're, fab uh, we're we're firmly established with the IRS. Hey, one last thing, too, additional information. Can we put Phil on the board, but to put him on the board at large? Yes. I, I'll nominate uh, Phil to be on the board. And uh, I nominate also John Schaefer, even though he couldn't make the call. And John Schaefer, yeah. I, I think I've got all this contact information. I need to double check on that. Yeah, yeah. He he he's more settled now, so it's kind of his young kids and stuff. But I met with him, and he's uh, interested in getting uh, uh, energized. So I, I made the motion for Phil, and we get John. So all in favor? So me second. I yeah. second it. And we have a unanimous consent. Congratulations. Congratulations. Here's your hand. Take, big, take big bites. You don't have to sit attention anymore at the Zoom meetings. This is much safer than skiing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil, I got to get you involved with these events. I'm doing more events all over the place now. You, you, my little event company is like growing. Ooh. We got to do more events, more beer events. Yes. Think, things, are, things are picking back up. Um, that's all the stuff on my agenda. Anybody, any other comments? Anybody? So wherever we go, you will always know that the army